with Soulful Creations. And today I'm just going to do a short video on how I apply my binding. Um, I know that a lot of people don't like binding. At one point I didn't like it either. But um, since I started doing it this way, um, I think it comes out a lot, a lot neater. And so I was recently uh, talking about this in one of the groups and a few people asked if I would just do a little video on how I apply my binding. So I have, I'm working on this backpack and I have this uh, panel sewn onto my gusset. And one thing you wanna do is just make sure that all the seams are as even as possible. Okay, and I do, I sew on at um, about a quarter inch. You can do three eighths, but I try to keep it around a quarter inch seam allowance. And even if the pattern says three eighths, um, that's just what I do. Um, and so um, everything, I, if it's anything sticking out, I just trim it down. So it's as neat as possible. Okay, I've cut a strip of waterproof canvas, the same waterproof canvas that I'm using for my lining. I've cut a strip at one inch. And I've applied one quarter inch double sided tape on each long side of the uh, waterproof canvas. Um, I'm using double sided tape from Waywac, um, the hyper stick, I, and it sticks really well. So you want to make sure that you have a quality double sided tape. Um, and um, this is pretty much what I do. So um, I just start here, I like to start at the bottom right in the center and I'll just start peeling off the tape I mean off the backing of my double sided tape okay a little bit at a time and I'm going to start applying it so this is going to be the part that would be seen the most right so I get I cover up those stitches so right just below the stitches so just like that so just to make sure the stitches are covered up. And then I fold that over on the other side and make sure those stitches are covered as well. So then it's going to look like that. Okay, now when I get to this curved part, okay, I'm going to start on the back here and just press it down to cover up the stitches again, just right below the stitches. So I'm just going right below, just like that, okay? And when I get it like that, so I'm not going to fold the, the curved part over yet. I'm going to start over here on the side where it's straight again, and then I'll fold that over press that down so I'm just working these straight edges first so then you'll have it and it'll look like this okay then I'll gently start so I just kind of open it up like this spread it out and then I'll gently start pressing and easing in the curve Okay, and if I have any, if I need to adjust, I adjust it a little. But, so it will look like that. So you minimize those puckers. It's just, it's, it's a lot neater there, okay? You're not gonna have it completely smooth because waterproof canvas has, this has no stretch. This is not a biased tape. So you're gonna have just a little bit of creasing right there. But it, I mean, I can live with that. That looks good, okay? And if you need to, you can just, you can add a couple of clips if you if your tape is not strong. This tape is pretty strong, but I still always just add a couple of clips as I go, okay? And then I'll just continue in that manner, okay? So I'll just start on one side, covering up just right below my stitches. And I'll go, and then once I get that, I'll just fold over and make sure I'm covering up the stitches on the other side. Okay. Now I'm getting around the, the top curve, 
is a it's it's a little wider curve so I just do a little bit at a time I'm just doing a little bit at a time and then again I'm going to I, I open it up and spread it out like this as I fold it and cover the stitches on this side. And you see how it minimizes any little puckers that you get. Instead of keeping it like this and folding it, I open it up like this. Okay? So again, go around. And I'm just making sure the stitches are covered on this side. Okay. Now I'll take a little more, open it up like this, pulling it open like this, and making sure that the stitches are covered. Okay. And then again, like I said, I'll just start adding a couple of clips. I just want to make sure that I don't pull it loose. Okay. So, and I just keep working my way around. So, up on this side to show you again. I'm covering up the stitches on this side. And then on this side, spread it open, pull it back, and I'm pulling it kind of snug, and I'm just pressing down as I go. Okay. Just like that. I'm smoothing out any smoothing out the creases as much as possible as I go, okay? So, I'm gonna make sure you see. So this does make it, it, it makes it take just a tiny little bit more time, <coughs> excuse me, but it's worth it in the end because you'll have the neatest results, okay? So now I'm over here on a straight part, then I'll open that up like that again. Okay. So I'm just covering up all my stitch, stitch lines, okay? Working my way around. Okay. okay, so now I'm getting around back over to the curve here so I'll just make sure okay, back here recover here like that then I'll fold over on the straight sides then leaving this curve for last and then just pulling back and easing it in, just like that. And I'll just add a clip there. Then let me trim some of the extra. Okay. And what you can do here is you can fold it over if you want, but I don't. I just I could cut just a little bit more. I like to have it centered there. Okay. And just 
go ahead and I'll just finish here. And then add the final clip. So that's what it looks like once it's all been taped on. Okay, and on these thicker parts sometimes, just add a few more clips just to make sure. Okay, so now we're just ready to stitch it on. <clears throat> so I'll be sewing from this side, from the gusset side up. And I do like to have thread that matches as much as possible. I'll just start over here on the side. And I try to get as close to the edge, to the raw edge of the <coughs> of the um, binding as possible. Okay. So, I'm just gonna sew. And I do like to keep my stiletto just in case, but nothing usually moves too much doing it this way. You saw those stitches were white, so they would show if I don't cover them up. made it around let's see what it looks like <clears throat> okay so you'll see from here it looks good and then we caught everything on the inside as well okay nothing shifted and if if there's a little extra here like here i could try and i could just trim that down a little bit um but otherwise that's how i do my binding and i think like i said if it's any little if it looks i just go in with some scissors and i just trim the little extra off just to neaten it up even more just like that, just trim it. And I'll trim a little bit, a little bit there. But everything else looks pretty good. I caught it, I caught it all. It didn't move because of the double-sided tape. Now, how about that? 
So that's it. That's the secret to my binding. Um, and I'll just keep doing it this way because this is the way it works for me. Whatever way works for you, then you keep doing it that way. You don't have to do it this way. So I just wanted to share with you. Thank you for those who asked me to do this. Um, if it was helpful to you, if you like this method, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Thank you so much for watching Soulful Creations. Have a good one.